Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Khan Baba and I am so excited to have you here today. In this video, we are going to talking about the NAR. I have been getting a lot of requests for this topic. So I am thrilled to finally be able to share my thought and insight with you. So let's share the video with your friend. It really helped me out and I appreciated your support more than you know. So let's start the today information. Vietnam's economy did not start 2023 in a great place. The truth is, it was struggling broadly with lower demand in key export. Markets weighing on its manufacturing industry, tourist visa limitations and an ongoing closed border with China stifling. The tourism industry's recovery and an intense desire to keep the Vietnamese dong stable coming at the cost of business borrowing. As a result, it was unclear how 2023 would unravel for Vietnam's economy. Overall, the first six months of the year have been a mixed bag. On one hand, GDP growth forecasts from key institutions, along with imports, exports, and FDI have slumped. On the other hand, these troubling circumstances led to an upward swing in mergers and acquisitions and attempts to stimulate the economy through a reduction in administrative costs. Indeed, despite the current economic challenges, there is still an abundance of value to be found in the Vietnamese economy. That said, Understanding these challenges and how both government and businesses are responding is critical to maximizing a firm's advantage. With this in mind, here are the key developments in the first six months of 2023 that foreign firms looking to invest in Vietnam should be aware of. From the beginning of the fourth quarter of 2022, Vietnam had seen layoffs around the country in technology, real estate, and manufacturing. This was mostly attributed to the war in Ukraine, which had driven inflation up and subsequently consumer spending down in Vietnam's key export markets. S&P Global's Purchasing Managers Index for January registered 47.4 up from 46.44 in December but still not good. Despite the slight improvement, it was still well below 50, which is where the sector breaks even. While this did not halt economic growth altogether, it signified lower than expected growth. January also saw the first license issued to establish a sports betting business endowed to Vietnam's national lottery provider. Vietnam Lottery. This was another in a long line of changes in Vietnam's gambling sector that have taken place over the last decade. This was a major breakthrough for the power sector. With structured guidance for developing grid infrastructure and power generation projects, investors could move forward with confidence. The agreement would essentially see gas power take center stage, moving forward, and Vietnam weaning itself off coal. At the same time, however, it was also being reported that northern Vietnam could be facing power shortages over the summer, with a range of reasons cited from a lack of water in hydropower reservoirs to coal shortages. But it wasn't just the electricity sector facing problems. Domestic food and beverage firms were reportedly reaching breaking point, facing high interest rates and challenges. Raising capital. It made sense then, that, like its real estate sector counterpart, the food processing sector was also on the hunt for foreign investors. Thank you're watching my video. Take care and goodbye.